Now, during the first two days of November, Mexicans go to graveyards to reconnect with their dearly departed. This tradition is known as the Day of the Dead. There's a special bright yellow flower to mark the national holiday, and it's only really sold around this time of the year. But farmers say it's a strong source of income for them. CCTV's Frank Contreras has the story. In one of Mexico City's most traditional neighborhoods, Coyoacan, this ofrenda or offering is dedicated to some of the country's most well-known figures, including surrealist painter Frida Kahlo. The legendary revolutionary leader Pancho Villa is also revered with special incense and candlelight, and a former president who nationalized oil is enshrined in Mexican marigolds. At this time each year, millions of Mexicans come to public markets and purchase tons of this flower, known by its pre-Hispanic indigenous name, Sepan We use the flower to honor our dead. I'm told its strong aroma attracts the spirits of our dearly departed. The industry's season lasts for a brief three months, from early August to the first days of November, Days of the Dead. According to Mexico's Secretary of Agriculture, sales on this traditional flower, the Sepan Suchitil, have grown more than 30% in the last decade. The business brings in nearly $1.2 million a year. The central Mexican state of Puebla leads the way, producing nearly 70% of each year's crop and providing income for dozens of families. Para nosotros representa... For us, it is a strong source of income during the year, but we do most of the work during one week. We call them our peak dates. For just a few days, truckloads of Sepan Suchitl flowers are taken to cities all across Mexico. In places where people are remembering their dead during this most Mexican of holidays, which would be incomplete without these bright, pungent flowers. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.